Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and this is take two of our first video for the 2016 school year. We're going to try a flipped lesson. Uh, traditionally, in mathematics, you come to class, and we teach you something, and then you go home and practice it. So we're going to try to flip that, and I'm going to ask you to look at this video um, either tonight, Wednesday, or Thursday, and then Friday, we can talk about this problem. So this problem has been on the board for about a week now, and I've been asking, can you estimate the square root of 30 as a fraction? And we're going to talk this week about why that's an irrational number and the difference between rational and irrational numbers. So let's go ahead and look at a different example, since this is the one that you'll hopefully be able to show me on Friday. Let's look at something like the square root of... Mr. 53. Is open. Pardon the uh, announcements, everybody. Well, what do I know? I know that it's in between the square root of 49, which is 7, so that's a nice rational number, and the square root of 64, which is 8. So I know the square root of 53 is 7 and something. And of course, the something, the fraction piece, is what I'm going to help you with right now. If I think about square roots as a picture, I can think of that as a square. So I'm going to draw a 7 by 7 square, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is my area of 49, and the square root of that is 7. And I want to get the square root of 53. So how many extra pieces would I need? Well, 50, 51, 52, 53. Everyone, that's our numerator. Finding your numerator is as simple as finding the difference between the square root of 53 and the square root of 49. And what's my denominator going to be? My denominator is going to be the extra that I need to make my 8 by 8 square to get my square root of 64. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The square root of 53 as a fraction is approximately 7 and 4 fifteenths. I'm going to give you another one, and I want you to pause me and try to do it yourself and then check it with me, okay? Let's do the square root of 40, something a little bit smaller. All right, so I want you to pause me. Now, if you need a little help getting started, if you've unpaused me or you just didn't want to pause because you were a little nervous, which two whole numbers is it in between? Well, it's in between the square root of 36, which is that nice rational number 6, and it's in between the square root of 49, which is 7. So I know it's 6 and something. Draw your squares. Pause me. Really pause me. Really, really, really pause me. You can do this. If you make a mistake, you're just stimulating your brain and making yourself smarter. If you've unpaused me now, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's our six by six square. So this is my area of 36. The square root of that is 6. To get to 40, I would need 1, 2, 3, 4 Mr. extras. Jackson, can you please open Mr. Smith Green's door? So there's Jackson, my numerator. Can you open 123? And then to get my next square, I would need to go 7 by 7. So I need to add an extra row down and an extra row across. How many grids is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6, and 4 thirteenths. We're going to do some practice with this this week. I hope this is helpful to you. I'm really enjoying starting my year off with you. Hi, pie. And I will see you later. Bye.